You've got so much to work with in the Yarra Valley, but what makes your winemaking approach really unique? I love tasting soils in wine. It sounds like the most absurd thing, but the subtle nuances that are just so minute can have such a profound effect on the finer wine. Cheers. <laughs> Just an hour in the car, northeast of Melbourne, the city gives way to the rolling hills of the Yarra Valley. Dating back 170 years, it's not only one of Victoria's first winemaking regions, it's also one of the country's best. Hi Sophia, welcome to the Yarra Valley. Thanks so much, Mac. Who's this? Uh, this is Cleo, she's my number one helper. Number one helper, and where are we in the Yarra Valley exactly? We are on the southern end in Gladysdale. So what actually grows in the Yarra Valley? So you've got the hills behind us, what we call Upper Yarra. Beautiful, much cooler, slightly more rainfall. Really suited to Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, one of the champagne grape varieties. The region is so big and diverse. It's easily, for me, one of the most exciting regions in the country, if not the world right now. It's really green and wild. Why is that? We have this amazing amount of growth under vine and in the mid rows that we want to celebrate. We want to see as much biodiversity and life in the vineyard. If I was a grapevine, this is where I'd want to be. <laughs> so this is 2019 Gladys Dale Chardonnay. I think it's delicious. It's really, really fresh. It, it tastes to me like the sunshine feels. What of the land is coming through in this glass? that it's quite gravelly and, and really fine, chalky tannins. That's the sort of That's talking the sort. right there. When would you drink this one? Uh, about 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you don't have a cellar door, you have a cellar wine room and restaurant. The bar is in Hillsville and it's a nice central point to experience the era. We're at the Grace Run Wine Room in Hillsville. Uh, it's the cellar door for Mac Forbes and on a Friday and Saturday night we're uh, running as a bistro as well. So what am I going to be eating? You're going to be eating some um, beautiful Yeringberg lamb from just down the road. Uh, we've got some radishes from Timbara Farm and we have some um, nice organic beetroots which we've turned to a little beetroot tartar. I think this tasting idea and being totally analytical is overblown. We want a space where people can come and sit down and they can drink wine, they can have some food, and it's, it's something that feels like home, and that's the best way. I mean, my favourite bottles are the bottles that vanish. You've opened in Hillsville, which isn't so far, but why did you choose this strip? I think it's the centre of the Yarra now. Food, wine, you've got Four Pillars Gin, you've got other wineries with cellar doors. You can travel around the valley and finish here in the afternoon and do it all by foot. And I think just being so close to Melbourne, people forget just how many great parts to this region there are.